Hello, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the stream. Great, my live chat's not working today. It's just so wishy-washy on when the chat wants, wants to work. And guess what? We have sound today. Everything's working. I made sure. So I got to pop out the chat over here. Uh, hold on. For some reason, my um, OBS YouTube chat just doesn't want to work, so I have to use the actual YouTube one. I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. I know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm saying. Uh, hello, everybody. Welcome, welcome. Welcome to Emma, William, Snickerdoodle, um, Valerie, Lauren. Yay! First time at a member stream. I'm so happy you could be here. And uh, yeah, I got a bunch of new members in the past week. So welcome to anybody new who's here. Hello, Patricia. I'm not muted. Don't say that. I know I'm not muted. I can see the sound. <laughs> Hello, Emma, to you and Lexi. Hello, Akasha. Hello, Snudder. Hello, Crystal. You're at work, but you're in your office for a few hours. All right. <laughs> yes, pretend to answer those emails, Crystal. <laughs> uh, so I just take the George Costanza approach. Anytime somebody walks by, just look irritated and people think you're busy. Just look annoyed. People think you're super busy if you do that. Uh, I'm not muted, they are. Uh, glad you could be here, Patricia. Hello, Eva. Uh, hello, Christina. Thank you for saying I look amazing. Uh, hello, Deja's Book World. Oh, you've been watching me for years. Thank you. Um, so, yeah, I'm streaming from the office today. I just find it so much easier. Mobile streaming sucks. Trying to read the comments on my phone sucks. I know sometimes I have to do it if we're doing a project or something, but... Um, if we're just going to have a chat, y'all, I don't want to stream in the office because it's so much easier and more, like, just a better experience for me. Hopefully for you, too. Uh, hello, Rusty. It's a nice Cindy day. Uh, okay, so I got my coffee here, y'all. I got a new kind of coffee I'm trying, but I was just recording some of the members' vlog for you guys earlier where I'm trying out this coffee. It's, uh, Dunkin' Donuts, uh... Dunkin, Do Dunkin Donuts hazelnut. And I just realized I have my green screen thing on. Hold on. <laughs> I thought I had everything done. Um, let me just configure this real quickly. Because you can see the Sims 2. See the Sims 2 thing back there? The 2 on the Sims 2? Um, I got to turn that filter off. There. Now it looks, now everything looks more colorful. I still have my green screen on. Uh, what's the ring I have on there? It is a moth. That's a my moth ring, which also I'm spoiling today's vlog, but there it is. It's a moth. Isn't that awesome? You adore the new members vlogs. I know. And it, it's not like it's that much, you know, it's not very much extra work for me to do it. So I figure I might as well do it for you guys because I just record like a little, you know, five to 10 minute clip every day. And then at the end of the week, just put them together or even put like stuff that didn't make it into the main vlog in there and put it together for you guys. And uh, yeah, it's been fun for me. <laughs> Yeah, it thought I was green screening. It thought I was green screening because I still have that on for my Sim stream. Which this weekend I was um, not feeling well at all. Like Saturday and Sunday, I felt so terrible. I don't know if it was my allergies or what, but I just had this nonstop headache that would not go away and I just felt like crap. So I only ended up streaming like an hour and a half. <clears throat> yeah, I like, uh, I like mundane vlogs too. And they're my favorite kind to make. To, so there is going to be a vlog, a public vlog going out today, and we got lots of mundane stuff in there. I made like a face wash. I did, the, I did a little, I did a little love spell, a little love charm. <laughs> uh, do I ever play the herbs? Um, I've never played it before. People have recommended it to me a lot, but I've never played it. You're still drinking coffee too? Wednesday's date night with your daughter. Oh, that's so sweet. But yeah, I love making the mundane vlogs. And so, yeah, I'm really going with my new tagline for the for the channel. Like, seriously, I'm trying for all my vlogs to have mundane magic and mental health in them. That's my, that's good. That's my thing now. I figured out what I want to do with my content. <laughs> Hello, Pagston. Hello, Kirsten. I should play it on Twitch for my Sims channel. Yeah, if I ever play it, I will. 
Snickerdoodle says, speaking of love, I met a guy who is unreal and I'm just waiting for the universe to hit me with some sort of character development. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> You're always drinking coffee. I usually don't drink coffee this late in the day. It's 2 p.m. here. But on Wednesdays, I called it, I called it, a, started calling it a coffee chat. And I was like, I guess I better drink coffee. But today I need it because today's a super busy day. So this morning I had to finish editing the vlog that I didn't finish recording yesterday. Then I uh, recorded some members vlog stuff. And then I had to go get groceries. And then I have to stream now. And I've been editing and then I have to finish editing after this. So Wednesdays, Wednesday, today's been super busy for me due to my own procrastination. But Wednesdays are usually pretty busy for me because I, I try to get a vlog out on Wednesday and also stream. The same day you genuinely asked yourself, will I ever found love? Will I ever find love? And then the universe was like, stop whining. Oh my God, here. <laughs> oh my God, I'm so happy for you. That's awesome. You can drink coffee and still sleep. <coughs> I cannot. I cannot. I already have a hard enough time sleeping, so I am not going to try to be drinking coffee at night. I should stream from the grocery store. <laughs> I don't like to stream, like, out in public because, like, it's just, you never know what's going to happen. But I guess that's what makes it exciting. I don't know. Um, and I also worry about, like, my uh, connection. Like, it's probably going to be constantly reconnecting and disconnecting. Like, I don't know. I don't think... I've done a public stream a couple of times where I streamed. But I guess it wasn't really in public. I streamed from a creek one time. I streamed from a nudist resort. And I did stream, like, driving and stuff uh, when we were driving back from vacation during Vlogtober, I think. But I've never just, like, gone to the store or something and streamed. Oh, coffee makes you tired. I cannot. Uh, it makes me, it makes me wired. And I already had like one cup this morning. So this is my second, or one pot. This is my second pot of coffee. So I also wanted to say, um, William, I just read your, like right before this, not too long before the stream, I read your comment that you left and it was so good because it was very, not it was very helpful to me, but also... That is something that I'm like actively working on right now is that specific topic. And I'm going to talk about it in my next vlog. I don't want to talk about it too much here because that's my conversational topic for my next vlog. Um, is about how I do still have a limiting belief around, around um, my, how am I trying? I can't, I don't know what I'm saying. Oh my God. Blah, blah, blah. Start over, start over. Let me just uh, clear that out and start over. I have a limiting belief surrounding my, um, how I feel I don't deserve to be successful. And so that's something that I'm really working on right now to get rid of. And I found this has been the hardest one for me to get rid of. And I think it's because of the constant negative feedback that I get. It was easier for me to get rid of the limiting belief that I'm like not worthy and not good enough and all that kind of stuff because um, I don't have constant negative, re you know, negative reactions to me. People saying, you suck, you suck, you suck. Um, so I don't know. It's been like a struggle. This one's been a real big struggle for me, but I also decided that vlogging is what I want to do. It's what I want to do and I'm going to be successful at it and I deserve to be successful at it. And, uh, I, 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 got, I need to shut up. I need to shut up because I want to talk about this in my vlog, not now. And something's happening to my chat. Why is it doing that? Oh, there it goes. Okay. <clears throat> the, the chat is just really wonky every time I try to stream on here. So anyway, I got a lot. I got, I'm dealing with a lot of, uh, I'm dealing with a lot around that, around that specific topic that you left that comment about. And you were so right about what you said. Okay. <laughs> That's my rant. That's my rant for the day. <laughs> Uh, okay, why is my chat not working? Dang it, dang it. Do y'all see that? Does anybody see that in chat? Test failed? Oh, okay, you do see it, okay. Um... 
All right, that seemed that seemed to jump start it again. I don't know what happened. My chat was like getting all garbled and stuff again. I don't know. All right. Snickerdoodle says, one thing that you said, Cindy, which really helped me was don't become, don't become to act, act to become. Yes. And I stand by that. It really does. If you go about things in that order, it makes a huge difference. You're all garbled. Oh, I'm glad it helped you. It really helped me too. That getting in that mindset really helped me a lot. And I realize I have been doing the opposite of that when it comes to my YouTube too. I had been acting to become, not becoming to act. So I'm change I'm changing that. I'm changing that and I'm actively working on this and I am fucking up my ring. I have a ring snuggie on my ring and I can't stop messing with it and I keep pulling it off. I, I'm very fidgety. I'm a fidgety kind of person and I fidget with stuff, especially jewelry. There goes Cindy acting like she knows how YouTube chat works. God. <laughs> now I lost my ring snuggie. Oh crap. There it is. Uh, yeah, I had to, because this ring is too big for me. Is, is there a fidget fidget ring? Oh yeah, I should get one of those. You're gonna do a Cindy hater, hater character? Role play. Uh, some are really pretty. Oh, I need to get one of those because I do. I am very fidgety with stuff. Are you gonna continue doing your Sims Four Pleasant View streams? Yes, I am. I just haven't uh, made the time to go in and update all the mods because honestly, I'm dreading it after the last update. But once I get around to doing that, yes, I am gonna play Sims 4 Pleasant View because I really was having fun with that save. So my, my plan is to do on Saturdays, do Strange Town, and on Sundays, do Pleasant View. And uh, I don't know if I'm gonna get to it by this weekend, but I hope to. I also wanna work on uh, doing the baby naming spreadsheet too. The whole character designed around nagging Cindy. I mean, it wouldn't be hard to do. <laughs> Hello, Elysion. I don't feel like I've seen you in a while. How come every time I'm in chat, you co you convince Cindy to buy a bunch of shit? I know. <laughs> now I gotta check out fidget rings, though. Um, you should consider trying other games, just small test trials. I have done that in the past, William, and nobody gives a shit. <laughs> I have done that. Um, one, I used to play, for a cup, for a little bit I was playing um, Final Fantasy XIV, but I did that on a different channel. You got a new job and moved? Oh my god, congratulations! But I have tried other games, but sometimes I'll just do it for fun. Like, I don't even care if I don't get a lot of, you know, if a lot of people don't come because it's just fun for me. Like, I've done, but I do like old ass games that nobody cares about. I mean, honestly, that's probably my problem. Because I play, like, um, theme park, uh, what is it? Sim theme park from, like, the year 2000. That's, like, a 23-year-old game. I freaking love that game. I don't care. It holds up. Yeah, the big Twitch streamers do small test trials and games with the high views, they do more. Now, I will play, like, when Life by You comes out and Paralives come out. I will play those. But really, anything that's not life simulation doesn't do very well on my Pleasant Sims channel. The Final Fantasy videos, that's deep Cindy lore, yes. I love that game so much, but I cannot ever play it again. I can't play it because it takes over my whole life. Because I'm like, I got to log in and do my dailies. I got to log in and do my dailies. Shit, I got to get... Um, it just takes over my life. Yeah, I don't like the new theme park games. I want to play Sim Theme Park from 2000. <laughs> MMO Final Fantasy is boring to watch. I don't think it is. I like watching it. If the person is like doing interesting things. But I like the craft and shit, so nobody's going to want to watch me sit around and craft leather pants for three hours. Oh, I will get addicted to it. I will get addicted to it. And I just can't, I don't have that space in my life for that right now. Like, I'm really not interested in gaming at all right now. Um, I enjoy playing my Sims on the weekends, but that's all I do. Can't wait for the new live Sims. Roller Coaster Tycoon, I like Roller Coaster Tycoon 2 and 3 a lot. 
Uh, Alicion says, so you did a tarot reading for me and said taking the job was a bad idea and it was right. Awful experience. Oh my God. I'm so sorry. That sucks. Hopefully you can find a new one that you actually like. Oh man, I love Sim Theme Park. I've literally been playing that game for 20 years. Now I want to play it again. <laughs> maybe I could do, uh, maybe I'll do an extra stream one night. We'll play uh, Sim Theme Park. I'll, I'll stream Sim Theme Park to five people and it'll be great. We'll have a great time. <laughs> do you think you'll continue The Sims 3 playable stories? I enjoyed the Agnes Crumplebottom videos. Right now, I'm not making any Sims videos, but when I do feel like making them again, I think I would, I think I would revisit that idea because it was really fun. I like doing the little just, um, like mini stories so I can put an end to it and I don't have to continue for five years like I have with my Blessed View. <laughs> you will be one of the five, Crystal. Yay. It did get you into a better experience, so it was meant to be. Yep. It's all just, it's all just a bridge, man, taking you to the next place in your life. Cindy acting like she knows how to play Sims 4. God, she doesn't know how to do anything in this game. <laughs> so nostalgic. I played that religiously. Love the puking children. Oh, yeah. The puke everywhere. And you have to assign your janitors to a specific quadrant. Make sure all the puke gets um cleaned up and then the kids setting off smoke bombs it's so fun i mean the graphics are dated but the game is so fun and i love how you can ride your rides i love how you can ride the rides i can't wait for paralabs too it looks awesome i can't wait to play it they did did they do a release a release date on paralabs i can't remember i thought they did I feel like I said it in my video and I don't remember what it was. Oh, Zoo Tycoon 2 is it, man of time. Zoo Tycoon 2, I love that game so much. I love, I just love games from like the early 2000s era. That to me, that was like the best games came out of that time period. 2025, ah, hey, that's next year. There are some mental health style games. Gone to the Rapture, Edith Finch. I've heard of Edith Finch before. I think I even played it one time. I don't want to play mental health games. I want to. I want to escape from my mental health when I'm playing games. <laughs> Sim golf. I don't think I ever played Sim golf. Edith Finch is a good cry. <laughs> Yeah, man, you guys got me wanting to go back and play some old ass games like uh, Sim Theme Park Zoo Tycoon 2. Oh, you love deep depressing stuff? Not me. I'm trying to avoid depressing things. Oh my God, I got to tell you guys about this. Something I found on YouTube, a gem, a jewel, a treasure that I found on YouTube the other night. So I was just doing my regular, usually right before bed, I'll lay in bed and like watch a couple YouTube videos. And uh, I was scrolling through and YouTube just like recommended this channel to me. And I wish I could show it to you, but I think I probably can't because it's going to like trigger copyright or something. And I don't want to steal any views from this guy. But it recommended me this channel and I was like, hmm, that looks interesting. I clicked on it and I was literally crying by the end of the video. And it is this old man, okay? He's probably in his 70s, I'd say, playing guitar. And he did, and oh my god, he played um, Creep by Radiohead and Nothing Else Matters by Metallica. Those are the first two that I watched. It was the most incredible thing I've ever seen. You have to check it out. His name is uh, Frank Watkinson. Frank Watkinson. And he has got like almost a million followers on YouTube, if you haven't heard of him. And he writes a bunch of original songs, but he also does covers. And I'm telling you, it is fantastic. You got to watch it. And I want to go back and watch some more of his. But his his version of Creep by Radiohead made me cry. Like, I, like it was the emotion and it just made me cry. Here, I'm going to put a link to his channel in the... Actually, let me find this video. 
Frank Watkinson Creep. Here it is. And he published this in January. Okay, I'm going to get the... Here, I'm putting it in the chat. Go save that and watch that. Seriously. Well, I, gotta, I haven't upvoted that. Upvote. Or not upvote. Thumbs up. Whatever. Like. <laughs> um, can highly recommend. And I normally don't watch stuff that will make me cry anymore because I'm trying to avoid like sad music and stuff because I don't want to just sit around and be sad. Um, what keyboard do I have? I don't know. I have a Logitech gaming keyboard of some type. Um, I got it as a gift a couple years ago. It's a it's a clickety clack. I don't like. I hate a soft keyboard. I need the I need the clackers. You accidentally dipped out. Hey, I just sent everybody away from my channel. I don't care. Leave and go watch Frank Watkinson. It's freaking amazing. Is that what it's called? Mechanical? I call it clickety clack, damn it. <laughs> uh, my ex-husband gave it to me. When he, before he was my ex-husband. <laughs> you dipped, found his whole channel. Awesome. Check him out. I'm not kidding. And and also watch his uh, Nothing Else Matters. Was really good. And I watched a few others too. But he's been doing, he's been making videos for a long time. You replaced your work keyboard with a gaming keyboard because of the same thing? Oh yeah, I cannot stand, my nose ring's crooked. I cannot stand uh, the soft keyboard. I hate using my laptop because of that. It just doesn't feel right to me. And I think maybe because I learned how to type on a typewriter. Yeah, I'm that old. I learned how to type on a typewriter. Um, my mom had a typewriter because she was like an accountant and she had to use this typewriter all the time because it was back in the days, even before when she was doing this, like before they even had r really computers in the offices and stuff. And uh, she had a typewriter and I, w I remember I w sometimes I would go to work with her if she had to go like and do extra work on the weekend or something. And I would just find a piece of paper that had like a bunch of writing on it, like something that's laying around the company. And then I would practice typing it, like retyping it on the typewriter. And that's how I learned how to type when I was like 10 years old. And then by the time I got into um, like seventh grade, we had to take typing classes and I, I already knew how to type. Um, so I kicked ass at that. And my, yeah, we used Mavis Beacon in school too, but, um, I had, I was already familiar because my mom kind of already told me like where to put my fingers and stuff. And I had already been practicing for like years before I even got to the class. I can type super fast too. Um, that's why when I used to do, when I used to do jobs, like before I got my degree, um, I used to always do clerical jobs because anything that required a typing test, I would always get hired. Starting in like first grade. Mario teaches typing. I don't think I ever saw that one. I've just been typing for like 30 years, so I'm pretty fast at it. I can also do the number pad really fast, and I learned that from my mom. Because my mom was like, like I said, she was an accountant, so she did numbers all day. And so she would just be on the number pad, just do, 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 do. And I learned that from her. You started in first grade like we did well I'm old but we didn't start learning typing until I believe seventh grade was the first time that we had typing class although we did have computer lab and stuff in like fifth and sixth grade back when there were these huge CRT monitor monitors and the blue IBM screen oh I can't have a keyboard that doesn't have a number pad hell no because any numbers I do, I do it on the number pad. I never use, like, the top row numbers. I did the Mavis Beacon, Beacon in, uh, seventh, I think, seventh grade. Might have been eighth grade. I don't know. I think it was seventh. I think seventh and eighth. I don't, I don't know. That was so long ago. I don't know how you expect me to remember that. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Uh, those flat chiclet keys. I can't do it. You could fall asleep in the grass and just let time cover you up. That's a beautiful thing to say. I love cold, rainy fall days, too. I love cold, rainy 
spring days too, which it, which it is today. Yeah, it was in Arizona. So when you move back to Arkansas, they were just starting typing classes in seventh grade. Yeah. You had a school marm who would yell out letters for you to type. <laughs> oh, yeah, I already knew. And your teacher was amazed at how fast I typed. I know me too, because I had already been practicing typing, but not in school, not any kind of, you know, structured, structured program or anything. I was just doing it on my mom's typewriter. <coughs> but my mom would show me like where to put my fingers and stuff. So I kind of had an idea, but I definitely got better after the classes, obviously. Hi, Flo. I'm glad you could stop by. You have writing to do. Good luck. Good luck with that. <laughs> <coughs> I'm sorry I keep coughing. I don't know what's wrong with me. A-A-A-D-D-D-A-A-A. -A -A -D -D -A -A -A. Yeah. You learned on your grandma's old apple, too. Yeah, we had one of those, too. We had an app. I don't, I don't know if it was an apple, too, but it was the one that's a square... It's just the whole thing is just a big square and it has like a little, it didn't even have color. It was a black and white computer. I love typing on a typewriter. It just feels so good. I would, I would love to have one too. It did work, William. It did. It'll be a long road, but you're doing it in baby steps. I wish you the best. Kayla says we started using PowerPoint in third grade in Arizona. And then when I went to college, there were people in group projects that didn't know how to use it at all. Yeah, I was never taught PowerPoint until college. Um, until I took the call. Like, you had to take, like, this computing class. It was, like, a prerequisite. Because I went to community college. And so they were like, everybody is going to have to learn how to use a computer. And it's like, I already know how to do this. But I had to take the class anyway. Um, but, like, I already knew PowerPoint just from using it in my own experience. But I don't think I would they ever taught it to us in school. Or, actually, that's not true. I think we did do like one project with it in high school at some point. Because I, I had to have learned how to do it somewhere. A Macintosh, yes. You don't remember learning how to type. You've always just known how because you're young. Yeah, I get that. You never learned PowerPoint. I have absolutely no uses for PowerPoint in my life whatsoever. I could use it, but it's like I have no use for it ever in my life. I gotta cough. I'll try to mute you when I'm coughing. Oh yeah, how's the baby, Kayla? Um, you want to get a Russian typewriter, too, since you're currently learning the language for diplomatic work. Oh, wow. I'd like to translate with a typewriter. <coughs> you did one project also. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we did at some point, but I just can't. I don't know. I went to a lot of different schools. I did a lot of different stuff. Yeah, I think I'm getting... Um, I've got like a post nasal drip. This is gross, but I'm going to tell you why I keep coughing. I've got a post nasal drip from, from, cause I'm allergic to something. Some kind of pollen is fucking me up <clears throat> and it's making me have my nose is stuffy and I keep getting post nasal drip and it's making me cough. So I apologize. I will try to mute when I have to do that. Okay. You're leaving. You promise. Uh, last thing you say is best friend got you a typewriter for your 30th birthday and you're planning a whole anthology around it. Oh my God. Fun fact about it. It was used by a World War I vet to write letters to his wife. Oh, I love shit that has history like that. You'll be nine weeks tomorrow and now you have to wait until 13 weeks for your next ultrasound after doing once a week for the past month. Oh, I bet it's going to feel like so long. That's good. That's good, Kayla. You you have one in 13 weeks and then 13 weeks, four days at maternal fetal medicine. Yeah. You're feeling gross too, Kirsten. I know. It's just... Ugh. Well, I am technically taking antihistamines because last night I took a uh, Benadryl to go to sleep, which I was doing so well. I was like... It was like one, three or four nights in a row. I didn't take anything to sleep. And then last night I just couldn't. 
Last night I couldn't sleep. But I probably should be taking something during the day now that you mentioned that. But I just kept thinking, oh, this is just temporary. It's going to go away. But it's been here for like a week or two now. You're learning Russian in a know your enemy kind of way. <laughs> oh, God, William, that's terrible. You hope those World War II letters were mean? Dearest Becky, the only joy I find is this ter in this terrible war is the knowledge I don't have to look at you. That's awful. Can you imagine you're waiting like months to hear from your husband and that's what you get? <clears throat> you can't eat calzone anymore? Ooh, yeah. You, you honestly have the worst cough of your life right now, not your usual kind of illness. I know, it's so weird to me. Dear John Letters. Yeah, maybe I should I should probably go get something and take it too. The only thing I have is is uh, diphenhydramine, but it makes me sleep. So I have to get some like daytime formula or something. You've been watching MASH lately? I haven't been watching anything but just random YouTube videos occasionally. Sounds like something Hawkeye would do. Try to go for a long walk or workout, then it's easy to fall asleep. Yeah, that's true. Uh, when you're sick, you take Benadryl so you can sleep and get over it quicker. Yeah, that's a good idea too. But I got work to do. I can't be sleeping all day. I got to work all day while I'm hacking. Oh, I'm glad you could make it, Elysion. Thank you so much. Good luck at your job and with your move and all that. I guess you've already moved. But anyway, good luck with your new situation is what I'm trying to say. You're still stuck on the Y flies. What is that? I don't know what that means. Yeah, I probably should um, be doing more exercise. I'm doing yoga. But that's not really that um, strenuous. Not strenuous enough to make me sleep. Maybe I should try to do yoga before bed. You love MASH, but the music makes you sad because it meant bedtime when you were little. Yeah. I have weird things like that, too. Oh, files. Why files? Try Pilates. Oh, yeah. I have done Pilates before, but it's been a long time. Why files? Let me see. A channel for people who are fascinated with mysteries, myths, legends, and conspiracy. Oh my god, that's just right up my freaking alley right there. Are they talking about aliens and cryptids? Because if so, I'm in. I'm in. Alright, I gotta check. Oh yes, this is just my thing. <laughs> I love this kind of stuff. Yes! Okay, I got a new channel to watch. Thank you. I've never heard of this. Uh, yeah, I love this. Weird, bizarre, and unsolved. Creatures Encrypted Files Volume 1! Yeah! I, I'm so fascinated with the, um, with just the phenomena of cryptids that people, you know, that we've kind of created and made them real, and it's just so fascinating to me. Yes, I'm in. I'm going to be watching this. I gotta subscribe to this right now. I gotta subscribe to it on my personal YouTube. Just attended a cryptid festival in Loveland, Ohio. I didn't even know that's a thing. I would travel for a cryptid for a cryptid cryptid festival. I can't talk. <laughs> you always got the ghost ship books at the Scholastic Book Fair. Oh, the Scholastic Book Fair. I never had any money for books, and I was always so jealous of everybody who did. I love all the weird shit, too. Um, you want to go to a gym that you're paying for in Bentonville though, through your job because it's supposed to have a huge workout facility and pools. But you need to get a maternity swimsuit before summer, yeah. Pool at sea swimming, I think, would be nice. But I think I'm just going to wait till it gets warm and go swim in the creeks. <laughs> go swim in the creeks and the rivers where I belong. <clears throat> Then you're probably going to go a few times a week, yeah. They have a Y-Files backstage channel, too. 
It's your lucky day. You got a $30 credit at Scholastics. Really? Long story? <laughs> I, don't, I can't imagine how that would come about. You have a pool and you never use that thing? See, I would not want to. Is it a huge pain in the ass for upkeep? I would not want to. I would not want to do the maintenance on a pool. Loveland has a cryptid legend, after all. What's the Loveland, Ohio cryptid? We have crypt. We have a cryptid here too. We have the. Uh, oh, what the hell is it called? Hold on. Uh, what is the name? Well, we have the White River Monster. The Falk. The Falk Monster. That's it. Um, the Legend of Boggy Creek. The Legend of Boggy Creek. Yes, Boggy Creek. Thank you, Kayla. Yes, thank you, Kayla. Yeah. The Falk. The Legend of Boggy Creek. The Boggy Creek Monster. Yeah. Um, I've never gone to Falk, so don't know what, what's up with that. You have a pool service, but it's on your side yard, so it's out of sight, out of mind. I think if I did have a pool and, the, and I had a pool service to upkeep it, I would be in that thing all the time. Oh, I've seen that, William. I watched a whole show about that. The three boys in Arkansas who were laid out on the train tracks. That's never been solved to my to my satisfaction. It was weird. It's a frog man. <laughs> you waited till it rained and splashed around in the ditch? Yeah, that was my pool as a kid too. Mud hole outside? Hell yeah! <laughs> um, actually, we when I was a kid, like, most summers we did get one of those, you know those crappy little pools that you get and it's just like this tall and it's like you just like unfold it and then fill it with water like we would usually get one of those in the summertime only because we were not allowed to be in the house during the day and i guess they didn't want us to overheat because this is really weird this is I, this is getting morbid but we were not allowed in the house, so we had to stay outside in the summer all day and drink from the hose and get in the swimming pool. <laughs> Whoever drank from a hose, you remember the if you di if you didn't wait for some of the water to come out, it'd be like that hot ass, just a blast of hot hot tube water in your mouth. <laughs> hot tube water. That's what it was. It tasted like chlorine and rubber. Um, but yeah, hose water tastes so bad. Mud hole and worm races. I remember me and my sister used to make mud pies, which that cannot be safe. That cannot be good. We're just out there making mud pies. I'm surprised we didn't get hookworm out there. And you would always forget because you were so thirsty. Yeah. Burnt my face every time. You love hose water? I don't. It reminds me of... Terrible childhood experiences. <laughs> but no one cares about it. <laughs> yeah, I grew up in the trailer hood, too. Oh, I love the old... Oh, there's an Unsolved Mysteries channel that has the old episodes and recent updates. Oh, yes, I need the updates. I don't like it when it's unsolved. I need it to be solved. They making meth in the house? No, I don't think so. I mean, I guess it's possible, looking back, but I don't think so. <laughs> that doesn't sound good. Uh oh, hello, hello, Kazik. I didn't even see you come in there. Hello, you're back from twelve hour shift at work. Oh my gosh, that sounds rough. Twelve hour sounds rough. I'm gonna cough again. I can feel it coming. I can feel it coming in the air tonight. You've been watching Mr. Ballin' then can't sleep. I've never watched that before. 
You can take the girl out of the trailer hood, but you can't take the trailer hood out of the girl. Damn, that's true. <laughs> Bye, Snickerdoodle. I will check on fidget rings. Thank you for stopping by. You went down a rabbit hole on TikTok of Arkansas Mysteries. There's a lot of them. There's a lot of weird shit that happens here. in Because we have... I feel like the... The for the dense forests, like weird shit happens out here. Southern Crime Girl Stories has a whole series of solved murders. Ooh. Hey Mary, welcome. Mr. Volunteer tells weird and scary true stories. Oh, that sounds good. I like that. <clears throat> I want to watch these uh, cryptid videos on the Y files. I'm so excited I found this channel now. Thank you guys. Oh, and by the way, I um, started listening to a new band that you got. Well, it's not a new band. It's new to me. Um, that you, somebody here, I don't know who it was. I can't remember who it was, um, recommended it to me like a year ago. And I just now got around to listening to it and holy crap, am I hooked on it. It's a ghost. Oh my god. I love it so much. It's so theatrical and over the top. It's just fantastic. So that's what I've been listening to lately. I'll waste all kinds of time on that YouTube. I know. Well, I like to just... I'll watch a couple videos at night. Like when I'm laying in bed before I go to sleep. So I like to have interesting things to watch. I love ghosts too. I can't... I'm just... I'm in love with it. This isn't about you, Cindy. <laughs> oh, I knew what you were saying. Hey, Lisa. Uh, Lisa says Mr. Ballin is great. He talks with his hands more than anyone I've seen. Oh, I get that because I do that too. I'm a I'm a hand talker. I'm an expressive, expressive talker. You don't like him. He talks too much without getting to points. Hmm. I'll have to watch him and see if I like him. I gotta reapply my lip gloss and it went on like all weird yeah after this stream is over I still have to finish editing today's vlog and get that out and I think that's oh yeah I'm gonna clean my bathrooms today fun fun my life is so exciting gonna clean my bathrooms and I got some stuff to take out to the dumpster because I got some packages um, today from subscribers and I gotta go take out the boxes and stuff what do I use to edit? Um, I use Filmora. So I bought a lifetime license to it like a couple years ago and I've just always used it and I really like it. It does everything I need it to do. And I think it was, when I bought it, it was like $50 for a lifetime license. Cleaning the bathroom is my least favorite chore. Least favorite. I hate it. And I don't even know why. Like, every time I'm like, well, that wasn't that bad. But it's just, like, the thought of doing it, I hate it so much. You did bathrooms yesterday? Yeah, I'm doing bathrooms today. It's time. It's time! And I also need to mop my kitchen floor, too. I noticed today. I was like, it's time for a mop on this floor. Uh, William says, I work in IT, but I'm still amazed at people who make videos of slow pan with music. What do you mean? I don't know what you mean by that, William. Patricia says, you should open packages on your live streams. I remember when you used to do that before you decided to do members only live streams. Yeah, and I may still, I just, I don't get as many packages as I used to. Um, but I opened them in it. I opened them for the today's vlog that I'm gonna put out, so it'll be on the vlog. We were promised a damn Rosie the robot for housework by now. I know. You know what I love to watch are those old uh, videos like that they made back in the '50s of this is what the year 2000 will look like, and it's all just completely insane. Um, some of it was kind of right though. I was watching one where they had this woman and she was sitting in front of a screen and she was like scrolling and there would be like different outfits and she was like, they were like, you'll be able to order clothing just by looking at the picture. And I'm like, hey, they kind of got it right. Oh, you're in awe when they do footage slowly walking around a flower vase with some jazzy techno music. I think it's so cool and I can't do it. I could do it with my gimbal probably. But, uh, I don't do the slow pan very often. 
If I ever get, like, if I get a bunch for my uh, birthday or something, Patricia, I might do it on a stream. Because I, I did it on a stream when I, when I had, like, a bunch to open that I knew was going to be too much for a video. We do have robotic vacuums. That is true. Um, but, you know, they're not really that... I mean, they work. I do it all the time, those montages. Yeah, I do montage. Well, I do sped up, though. Mine are, sp mine are fast, not slow. <laughs> I speed it up. What rock am I wearing on that necklace? Um, this is a black onyx. That's one of my favorite crystals. It gives me confidence and strength and protection. Either way, you can't do it. You could. It's not that hard. Kayla says I'm annoyed because my husband's charger broke for his laptop and they needed to send another one that apparently won't get here until Sunday after ordering on Monday. So he's off work all week. Wow. That's something. The robot vacuum sucks and not in a good way. It does suck. I know. I mean, it will clean stuff up, but it just, it, there's no way it can get to everything. You have something to send me? Been really slow sending it. I mean, I got it last year. <laughs> no, I get that. I still need to send a package and I meant to do it today and I forgot. Kate, if you're watching this, I still am going to send you the package. I swear. It's been like a month I told her I was going to send her that Barbie perfume and I haven't done it yet. I even bought the package to like ship it in. Damn it. I should have done that today. I got to do it by the end of the week. I am terrible about that kind of thing. Your mind can't comprehend a video footage and a music overlay. It's so simple, William. Oh, and he gets paid, Kayla? That's no fair. <laughs> no, actually, that's good for you, though. At least he's still getting paid. <coughs> the robot mop. <laughs> Is that a thing? Is that a real thing? You want a Roomba so bad, but we have three cats that like to leave us surprises laying. Oh, that would not be fun. He's sitting on the couch playing video games. Uh, yeah, I've never had a Roomba, but I've just like been around. Like my brother has one, and like I've been I've been around them. And there was getting stuck under shit. I don't know. It ran over your cat. A poor thing was sleeping in her bed and this damn thing attacked her. Oh my god. The mop is real and is a lie. Oh my gosh, I have to look this up. Elect robotic mop? That is insane. Oh yep, that's a thing. Smart robot mop vacuum. Okay. I mean, it takes me like two minutes to mop my floor. I'm just gonna mop my floor. That seems a little, I don't know. Maybe if you had a huge amount of floor. I don't have that much. I don't have that much floor to mop. Most of my apartment is carpet except for the bathrooms and the kitchen. You heard it here. Cindy's been around. Uh, you wouldn't use a robotic vacuum. You have dogs. You've seen the videos where it runs over dog crap and spreads it everywhere. Oh. Your dogs very rarely have an accident but not willing to chance it. Yeah. Jordy, you're watching from the shower. <laughs> Have a good shower. Your daughter has a Roomba. Oh, this is Kiki. Your name is an inside joke for another channel. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Hey, Kiki. <laughs> Welcome. I hope you're having a nice shower. I had a nice shower this morning. Today was hair washing day for me. I know that's so fascinating. My life is so fascinating. I wash, I wash my hair... I open packages, I go to the grocery store, <laughs> I mop the floor. I'm living it up over here. I'm living the high life over here. No, today's just pretty, um, this week has been pretty average week. I haven't really done anything. I've just been doing projects around the house and stuff. I haven't really done anything too exciting. Routine is key, yes. I enjoy having a nice mundane life, you know, but I like to do exciting things too. But I like I need I need to have like some moments of rest from that as well. You love package opening when I can show you, yeah. What shampoo do I use? I make my own shampoo, Rusty. 
I make my own shampoo out of, uh, I make like an herbal tea and then mix it with castile soap and essential oils. And uh, I need to make some more rinse right now. Oh yeah, I need to do that tonight because I just used the last of my peaceful. Yeah, I like peace. I mean, I like, I like, I do like chaos. Okay, but I'm trying to get away from that. <laughs> I'm trying to get away from the from the uh, enjoyment of chaos because it's just my whole life has been chaos and I'm used to it. But I find that when things are peaceful, I'm much happier. I don't know why I have to create chaos for myself. Well, I do know why. But I'm not doing that anymore. I'm stopping that habit. Um, I've never used mane and tail. There are seasons for life. Extrovert, introvert, etc. Going with your season seems to flow best. Yeah. I agree with that. Um, this week I'm feeling pretty introverted. I don't even know if I'm going to go out this weekend or not. <laughs> chaos is pretty lit sometimes, not going to lie. It depends on what kind of chaos. I don't want any more relationship chaos in my life. Do they have natural shampoo and conditioner for curly hair? I'm sure they do. I'm sure that exists. Um, but you can, like, you can, I don't, I don't really know anything about having curly hair because I just got, I got whatever this is, wavy, I guess. Um, so I don't know. But I'm sure you can get a natural shampoo for it. Don't go out. I haven't decided yet. I'm going to see how I feel. I want to see how I feel in the moment. And then I'm going to decide if I want to go out or not. But I have been feeling like I just want to. I've just been doing so much, like, work on myself. I've been doing so much. Like, you don't even know. I sp most of my time is spent, like, doing my therapy homework, doing my meditations, doing my affirmations. I'm just, I'm just working on myself so hard. And then sometimes I do need a break from that. <clears throat> or either I'm doing that or I'm working. Because even when I'm, like, doing tours or in my house and stuff or, like, doing projects, I'm still doing, like, affirmations and stuff. <clears throat> but if I feel the need for a break from it, I'll take a break from it. Been rewatching CSI. Oh my gosh. I used to love that show. I haven't seen that in so long. Crap ton of curly hair videos on YouTube. That's a lie. You just woke up one day and were instantly fixed. I know. I woke up one day and I was instantly completely healed of all my problems. It was so easy. I just snapped my fingers and it happened. <laughs> oh, it's not dangerous for me to go out alone, Patricia. I do appreciate your concern, but I don't go places where it's like I would be in danger. I live in a small town and I'm pretty like familiar with where you can go and not go. I mostly just go downtown. I mean, you, I mean, to be fair, you could get, anything could happen to you anywhere. I'm not trying to discount that, but um, I feel pretty safe in my... My, my frequent haunts that I go to. And uh, also, I do have pepper spray, though. I do carry pepper spray with me. Just in case, you never know, I do have pepper spray. You're 60 years old, your mothering just kicked in. I get it, Patricia, I appreciate that. <laughs> and see, the thing is, I don't always have friends because my all my friends around here have kids and stuff. So I don't really have a friend that could go out on the weekends with me that frequently. Like sometimes B and I will do stuff, but you know, he's got his family and stuff. And Lodane, she's always down, but she lives five hours away. So it's, so I usually have just been going out by myself and I've been, but I've been meeting new people, which is really awesome. It's hard to find like, it's hard to find other people who are in kind of like the same place that I am in life. Most people my age have like kids and families and stuff. So I don't know. Yeah, the downtown area is heavily trafficked and it's heavily, there's like a, always a bunch of cops down there and stuff. It's like, it's very safe. I mean, it, obviously anything can happen to you anywhere. That's why I carry pepper, pepper spray. But I've never had anything negative happen to me down there ever. It's a Christmas miracle. Uh, you think you think some forget that you can change your perspective at any time? You were never claiming to be healed or done treatment. Yeah, that's exactly right, Kells. You absolutely can change your perspective anytime. I did change mine. 
and it, yeah, and I still, you know, I still have a, do have a lot of stuff to work through. And like stuff, it comes up for me like this new thing that I'm dealing with that I didn't even realize I was dealing with that has to do with my YouTube and stuff. Um, so yeah, when something comes up though, I'm able to deal with it for in a much healthier way. And, you know, I've, I've made progress. I know, I know myself and I have made a lot of progress. Pay attention to your drinks, please. People put things in. Oh yeah, I never leave a, a drink unattended ever. Ever. Where have I been getting out to lately? Um, usually I will go, um, downtown is my favorite place to go. I'll go downtown. I'll go to the Arlington. I'll go to, like, Ohio Club or to, um, uh, Maxine's, which is my favorite place. Or I'll go to Oakland, which is always fun. I like to go there and watch music. I like to go to Maxine's when they have music, too. I like to see live music, so anywhere that's playing music, I'll go there. Oh, thank you, Kiki. That's so sweet. I know the idiot trolls boost engagement. So I recently, I'm going to talk about this in my next vlog, but I'm going to talk about it now too. Not everybody watches these long ass live stream playbacks. Um, but I recently went on a banning spree on my channel. And now I'm thinking, and I'm going to talk about it. I'm going to, I don't, I don't want to go into it now. I'm going to talk about it on my next um, vlog more. We will talk about it. But yeah, they do boost engagement. No one is perfect, and if they say they are, I call bullshit. Yeah, I agree. Nobody's perfect. Cindy did no therapy or self-reflection. She claims to have gotten into a shower, a broken person, and by the time she got out, she was all healed. You were so right about what you say, what you said, William. Though that people want to misunderstand, people want to hate, and like nothing you can do is going to change that. So. I'm just going to quit trying. <laughs> oh, thank you, Patricia. Um, I heard they have nail polish that will detect if your drink has been tampered with. You just stick your finger in your drink and if it changes colors, don't drink it. Wow, I've never heard of that. Uh, it's normally, you're normally in bed at 8 p.m. I've been going to bed at 8.30, so I feel you. That's what they say, too. It's absurd. I know. I know, man. Uh, our persp uh, Now our says our perspective is what shapes our reality. I don't know how that's hard to grasp for some people. I don't either. I don't either. Our perspective 100% shapes our reality. It does. And see, that's why I... <sighs> That's why I'm go I'm I'm struggling with the YouTube thing and I'm going to because I realize that my perspectives and like my beliefs about it need to be changed. So I'm going to talk about that more. This is this is the last thing that's like really holding me back. Once I once I conquer this, watch out. I'm completely healed. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But like that's this is the limiting belief that I'm dealing with right now. Your bestie and you are both carnivore and wondered how you can manage eating just the pizza toppings. <laughs> I don't know. I just got used to it. But uh, what I do usually is if I want pizza now, I'll get the pop-up bowls so I don't even have to be tempted by the crust. <laughs> also, I want to make a, I want to make a pizza soon. I think I'm going to do it in a vlog. I'm going to make a carnivore-ish pizza because it's going to have a little bit of sauce. It's going to have a little bit of low carb sauce on it, but besides that, it'll be, you could probably leave that out. But I have this recipe for a really good pizza and the crust is made of cheese, but it's like the same texture as pizza. It's so good. And now I'm hungry for pizza. <laughs> you shower three times a day sometimes to deal with your anxiety. Oh, I'm sorry. He went to bed at four yesterday. You're exhausted. Oh, yeah. I bet you are really exhausted right now. Yeah. Kayla. Yeah, that's exactly right. Kirsten says, if someone doesn't like you, it's because they see something unhealed in themselves. Yeah, I know it's, it's confronting to people to see somebody like truly healing and making progress. It's confronting to them because then they have to face the fact that they weren't able to accomplish that. And I get that. I really do. <clears throat> Rusty says, do that polish on the toes. Dude offers you a drink, dip a toe with Rusty, shut up. Rusty. 
<laughs> if he doesn't seem that as strange, he might be a keeper. <laughs> I don't know if I would want to keep him. Okay? <laughs> uh, William says, Cindy, I think we are too spiritual. We want to be connected to the earth, all living creatures. We want harmony, but not everyone wants that. Some people just want chaos. That's true. It's true. Buy a giant piece of pepperoni and top it. Yes. Yes. I have a bunch of giant pepperonis right now. You just had an all meat pizza. You were surprised how good. Chick I don't do chicken crust. I will make a pizza. So pizza is really good where you do the the crust is ground beef. I used to do that when I was doing keto and I I should do that again. Um, but I also, there's one uh, pizza that I really like to make that's a cheese. The crust is made out of cheese. It's like a bunch of different cheeses. And it's really good. Now I want pizza. Dang it. And I did. I bought burgers for myself tonight. I'm going to cook burgers tonight. Yeah, hurt people hurt others to make themselves feel better. Yeah, they do. I know that's true. They are, they're literally lashing out in pain. They're, yeah. I know that's true, and I have to, that's why I have to change my beliefs around this, around this whole dynamic. How did you get your moth ring to fit? I got a, a ring snuggie. I got a ring snuggie on it, which I'm going to show you in today's vlog <laughs> that I published later. Fat, um, no, not the fat head pizza. That is, I've never tried to make the fat head pizza, but it's kind of like that, man of time. You're having burgers too? Yeah, I do pizza bowls, yeah. Just the meat and cheese, yep. I like mushrooms in there too. I do like, even though I'm on carnivore diet, I do eat mushrooms and guacamole. Like I can't, I gotta have my mushrooms and guacamole, I don't care. I'm like 99% carnivore diet. <laughs> yeah, be extra nice to them, it drives them crazy, I know. Well, my, my current strategy was just to completely ignore it altogether. And I think that's still a good strategy, but I think also I've kind of, I'll talk about it later. I keep talking about it. <clears throat> Do I ever put anything in the freezer? Just ice. The only thing I put in the freezer is ice. What the heck is that? Um, oh, somebody else who wants me to do a partnership on the channel. Nope. I am not um, interested in that, but thank you. You're having bratwurst tonight? I love brats. I almost bought some. You eat keto and make... I don't even know what that is. Pizza casseroles? Yeah, I'm ketovore, I guess. But really, I only eat mushrooms and guacamole, and I don't eat those, like, even every week. So I wouldn't... I would even hesitate to say I'm ketovore. You look forward to my recipes and cleaning stuff? Yay! I'm glad you like it. Uh, maybe I'll make the pizza in the next vlog. Or the next one after that. In the next couple of vlogs, I'll make the pizza in the vlog. Let me use your following to launch your <laughs> launch your YouTube career. <laughs> You're welcome to. I don't think it'll launch you very far at this point. <laughs> Pipe. <laughs> no, I know like you can buy large amounts of meat and freeze it and stuff. I just find that to be a huge pain in the ass. I really do. I just prefer to like buy and buy enough for now, cook it and then eat it over like two days and then buy some more. I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to be fucking around with freezing stuff. and just like, ugh. I barely, I can barely even make myself cook anymore. But I, I did buy some bacon cheddar burgers for today. Um, I'm going to make tonight and probably eat those for dinner and then lunch tomorrow. <laughs> William, make your channel. How lifeless Cindy saved my life and changed my views. <laughs> Preserving food is such a chore. I, I ain't got time for that. I just eat, fr I eat it fresh. You've seen people make the bottom crust out of cauliflower dough? Ooh, no. I've had it and it was gross. To me. To me personally, I did not like it. Um, it has a weird texture that I did not enjoy. But I've never made it homemade. It was like one of the ones that you buy in the store with like a cauliflower crust. I did not like it. Not you living off frozen meals. <laughs> if they made carnivore frozen meals, I would probably live off, the, off of them too. 
So I do not judge. Because I live off McDonald's burger patty, so, like, I can't judge anybody. Uh, but I am, like, I found myself going to fast food more lately, and I'm like, all right, I got to get groceries. I got to do, I got to, I got to cook some food for myself. Walmart burger patties is what's for dinner tonight. Yep, that's my dinner. <laughs> but the bacon cheddar ones, I love those. I like to eat them with a big old hunk of butter on top. Yeah. You've never found a decent gluten-free pizza? Yeah. Then <laughs> it's not for you, yeah. I do not like those cauliflower crust pizzas. I don't know. Maybe they make good ones and I just had a bad one. I don't know. <laughs> Start the Cindy saved my life memes. <laughs> yeah. That would be just as ridiculous as the hate memes. Cheap and easy sounds yummy, yep. Yeah. It will be. I was, I went and I was debating between, I was like, am I going to get, I almost got brats. And now that person said brats, I wish I would have got brats. You used to get gluten-free pizza at the BYO pizza places and they're good, but they're not any other ones around here anymore. I've never even heard of those. Yeah, I bet if you, I bet local places probably would make better. Yes, I love I love a cheddar smoked sausage. I love that. I love a I usually get the cheddar brats and I love those. I'll cook them in a skillet with water and just well first you I brown them on all sides and then I put water in there and cook them for like 20 minutes. Oh my god, they're so good. I eat them with a, like a spicy mustard, like a gray poupon. Oh, that's what I want for dinner. Damn it. Too late. I bought burgers. <laughs> You're in love with pork chops right now. I love pork chops, but they have to be have the bone in. The boneless pork chops just turn into this dry husk. I don't like them at all. You gotta have the bone in. It keeps them like tender or juicy or something. And I like to just, I season them up and just bake them and they're so good. But I haven't done that in a while. Pyology Pizza Rev in California. Mosaic and Blaze. Oh, Blaze is in Little Rock. Yeah, I've never had any of those before. Nope. All, we don't, we have a couple of um, really good pizza places around here, but they don't make, I don't think they make gluten-free, but our best pizza place, in my opinion, is DeLuca's. That, oh my God, their pizza is so good. Like, it's like a real Italian pizza, I guess. I don't know. Um, I might be talking out of my ass, but anyway, they, they like char it in the, in the pizza oven. Oh my God, it's so good. And that's the best pizza that we have. And then we have Rocky's Corner, which has been here since before I was born. And it's really good, too. We have another place called Rod's that everybody raves about. But I didn't really care for it last time I ate there. <clears throat> Do I eat any fish? Not really, just because I don't really like fish. I will eat it, like, if I go to a restaurant and it's prepared well. But I never cook fish by myself. Um, it just, it always turns out mediocre at best. Are there any Italians where you live? Um, yeah, they own DeLuca's. <laughs> so there are, and there are more, I'm sure. Um, the people who own DeLuca's are Italian, I believe. You love salmon. I, it's just, I don't care for it. I could eat a nice mild white fish if it's prepared well. Wife and I couldn't get into DeLuca's. It was a 90-minute wait at 2 p.m. Yeah. It's uh, very popular around here with locals and tourists. I mean, fish and chips is freaking delicious, but I can't eat it because of the carbs. <laughs> I love catfish because I grew up eating catfish. And some people think catfish is gross, but my mom used to make blackened catfish and it was so good. If it swims, you don't eat it. Um, I like crab, but crab is too much freaking work. Like, if somebody, like, gets the meat out for me, fine. I like crab, but I'm not going to sit there and crack it crack it open and all that shit. Um, but I do, and I don't like lobster at all. Gross. Um, I like shrimp, and I love scallops. If it's made right, it's good, yeah. Catfish is, I love catfish. Fried catfish is good, and, and so is blackened. 
The only fish you cook at home are catfish and tilapia, yeah. I cook some tilapia, like, I made a vlog about it not too, like, a, I don't know, months ago. I didn't, it was okay. I still have some tilapia in my freezer. That's probably not good anymore. Cindy wants someone to get the meat out. <laughs> I do. Get the meat out for me. I'm not doing it with my own hands. <laughs> It changes the taste if you cut out the mud vein? That is, sounds disgusting to me. Is that the catfish? I want to know nothing about that. <laughs> Cindy and the cream of meat. <laughs> I want to know nothing about how the catfish is processed. Some people think catfish is gross because it's like a bottom feeder, but I'm telling you, I love it. And, I mean, you know, it's just because that's what I grew up eating. My daddy was always fishing and cooking and catching catfish, so we would eat it a lot. And I love it. Um, but I don't like lobster. I'm a catfish girl. You could take your lobster elsewhere. <laughs> it always tastes so fishy to me. I don't know. You like it better without the mud vein, but your uncle wouldn't cut it out. I don't even know what that even is. I don't know how I had my catfish. Lobsters are bottom feeders too. I know that's what made me think of lobster. And they're a delicacy. I don't know why they're a delicacy. Because they're not as good as catfish. I stand by that statement. Catfish is superior to lobster. <laughs> oh, and you didn't know why it tasted different. I didn't even know that was a thing. I was never involved in the processing of the fish. I only got to uh, enjoy the spoils of the fishing trip. You know what's really gross though? Turtle. Have you ever eaten turtle? Oh man, it tastes like swamp. It just tastes like fishy ass swamp. That's the only way I can describe it. I had turtle gumbo. I think I've talked about this before. This was such a traumatic experience that I have multiple times talked about eating turtle gumbo. When I was like five years old and I still remember it because it was so bad. It's like, why don't you just ladle some swamp water out directly into my bowl because that's what it freaking tastes like. <laughs> You'll take a pork chop over any meat. Oh no, my, my, meat, my preference is ribeye steak. That is my favorite meat. And I, I prefer beef over all over other meat. <clears throat> Turtle is bad. It's bad. It wasn't, was it Leonardo or Donatello? I hope neither. It was so bad. And then another thing that I really don't like is crawfish. And crawfish is real popular around here, but I do not like it. It's gross. I've had alligator too. I like alligator. Um, so there's a local restaurant here that serves fried alligator and it's delicious. Well, I've never, I've only had it fried, so I don't know. And also I think me and Lodane had alligator one time. Um, I love, I love it. If you fry alligator, it's good. Oh, squirrel is gross. Squirrel is gross. So you gotta understand, I grew up in the South and my dad was kind of a redneck, so I've eaten a lot of animals. I've eaten a lot of different animals. And squirrel, not good. Very gamey. Uh, Patricia said, here's a bit of nobody wants to know trivia. I can't put anything but canned goods in my kitchen cabinets because it, if it's paper or cardboard, the unknown animal eats everything else in there? Oh my god. You don't know what it is? I've never had shark. I thought it was dangerous to eat shark for some reason. Or like eat shark fin or something. Crawfish is bugs. Yes, it is. Uh, wet bugs be delicious. No, they don't. Ew. Ew. I mean, shrimp is bugs. But shrimp are good. When you got on the carnivore, you ate so much beef. You think you overdid it with beef. Yeah, I never get sick of beef. Like, I am always, like, all I want is beef. And I eat pork. So, I'll tell you something gross. Pork gives me a little... It gives me a little rumble in the tummy if I eat too much pork. I've noticed that. I guess that's not too gross. I could have said it way grosser, but you know what I'm saying. Um, it, it upsets my stomach if I eat too much pork. And I don't know what it is in the pork that does that to me. Chicken doesn't do that to me and beef doesn't do that to me. 
But mostly I just eat beef and chicken wings. That's mostly what I eat. And, and sausage. Pork sausage, usually. You, there's a restaurant down the road that has a lot of Cajun food and they sell fried alligator, but it's like $18 for an appetizer. Yeah, that's kind of how this restaurant is. We also have a restaurant called Cajun Boilers that probably serves it. I've never been there because I don't like, I don't, I'm not really crazy about Cajun food. Shark was okay. I hate gamey meats too. I don't like gamey meats. Pork does the same to you. Yeah, I only like cured pork. Yeah, I try to stick to cured pork like ham and bacon. That doesn't do it to me. Like bacon, ham, sausage doesn't do it to me. Well, sausage can if it's not if it's not smoked sausage. Um, because I got a little upset when I made all that sausage and egg scramble the other day or like a couple weeks ago. Um, I ate way too much of it because I was just I just ate that and nothing else until it was gone. And then I was like, oh my god, my stomach. I know I ate too much pork. It was fresh pork, that's why. If it's cured, it doesn't do that to me. You're a beef and chicken house too. It's, there's something in pork and I can't remember what it is. Rusty says probably the oils in pork. I, I'm not, I can't remember what exactly it is, but there's something in pork that causes that. You can't do chicken smells like wet dog to you. Oh, I can, I, I do chicken wings and thighs is it. I can't eat chicken breast really. Cause I just find it too dry and bland and gross. It doesn't have enough fat. I like the skin. I want the skin on my chicken on my wings. I like wings and thighs. You're going to send your husband to get pork belly from Whole Foods. He makes really good candied pork belly. Oh, that sounds good. You've eaten songbird stew. Fro oh, frog legs. I've eaten frog legs too. Not good. Also tastes like swamp to me. Oysters. I've, I hate oysters. Oysters are so gross. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Several kinds of fish. Deer. I've eaten a lot of deer meat in my life, too. Um, I don't like it either. I don't like it either. It's very gamey. Yeah, your stepdad was from Louisiana, and you tried a lot of stuff because of him. We did eat a lot of deer um, when I was a kid because daddy would hunt, and we would eat it. But I don't care for it. I find it to be tough and gamey. And you, I think you can make it better by, like, soaking it in milk, but I don't think my family ever did that. Ooh, sausage quiche. <laughs> You're going to pay later for that. I've never tried chicken feet. No. Did you know that when a pig has piglets, they have to be taken away at birth or the mother will eat them? What? I've never heard that before. You thought frog legs tasted like fishy chicken? I thought they tasted like fishy swamp. But maybe that's just my perception. I'm like, frog going to taste like swamp. So that's what it tasted like to me. <laughs> Same thing with turtle. Ostrich is pretty good. I've never had ostrich. I do not like duck. I don't like duck. I find, I also find duck to be gamey and oily. I like greasy. I don't know. There's something I don't like about duck. Uh, deer meat can be good if it's made right. Your mom used to soak it in salt water, you think, and it didn't taste as gamey. Yeah. I've heard if you soak it in like buttermilk or milk, it takes out the gamey flavor. Thank you, Cindy, bringing the heat today. I don't think frog legs taste like chicken. Oh, I do love bison. I haven't had it in a while, but back in the days when I was doing the paleo diet, I used to eat bison a lot. But it's very lean. That's why I don't eat it now. Duck fat is really good in cooking and goose fat. Yeah, I imagine it would be. But I do really like bison. I've had some really good bison burgers... Um, I think one time at Disney World, I had a bison uh, roast. Bison roast was really good. I know, you can spend hours trying to get deer to taste okay, or you can just go get a beefsteak. Exactly, William. Exactly. <laughs> deer is not worth it to me. Now, if somebody else did all the work and served it to me, I would eat it. But I'm not going through all that shit. Your mom soaked venison in buttermilk or milk with vinegar, yep. Yeah. But, you know, in, like, we were really poor, so if Daddy got a deer, like, that's what we would eat. And we didn't have the option to go get a beefsteak, you know? <clears throat> bison gave you weird dreams? Really? Not me. I really, I really like bison. Uh, you've eaten duck, bear, oh, I've never, oh, I couldn't eat bear, oh, oh, oh. Deer, squirrel, frog legs, alligator, bison. I've eaten all those except bear. 
I don't think I could do a bear. I bet it tastes horrible. What does bear taste like? Is it gamey? I need to know. I need to know the answer to this question. It was eh. Sometimes when your mom made a venison roast, she would cook it with pork or beef roast to help. Yeah, if you mix it in. Mm -hmm. You had a large family so she could do that. You're still not a fan of seafood. Ate way too much as a child. I like, like I said, I like certain types of seafood. And it, it, if it tastes fishy, I can't eat it. I know. Every, I grew up in the South, too, and everyone says, you just haven't had some that was cooked right. Everybody thinks they know how to cook it the best. I grew up on Hamburger Helper. Well, we did, too, when there was no deer. When there was no deer, it was ramen and Hamburger Helper. <coughs> At my dad's house, anyway. Bear would be like eating a dog to me. I know. You ate it once. You don't have a reason to eat it again. Now, honestly, I think if I was in a place where they were, like, serving it, I would try it. I would try it just to try it. But I don't think I would go out of my way to try to, like, obtain it and eat it. You know? <laughs> Lisa says, I don't think bear is super tender. I've heard people mix it with sausage and that helps. Yeah, I can imagine. It's probably tough. If you can afford hamburger, get that deer away from me. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's why you tried it. I would. I, I would definitely try it. There's like almost no animal I wouldn't try. I mean, as long as it's, I wouldn't eat like predator animals because they're not good. But, like, I, there's almost nothing I wouldn't try that people, like, genuinely, regularly eat. Like, I'm not going to eat a dog, but you know what I'm saying. I, d I hate Hamburger Helper because I ate so much of it as, as a kid. Same with ramen. Can't eat either of those. It's a staple food in the trailer hood. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Um, so are fry, but you know what comfort food that I love from my childhood that I would eat right now if I could handle the carbs that I still love to this day, and this is what my daddy used to eat, fried potatoes with scrambled eggs and ketchup, and you mix all that shit up together, and oh my god, it's so good, and the fried potatoes have to be really crispy, you gotta fry them, you gotta make sure they're crispy, you scramble some eggs, mix it in there with ketchup, that's the, that is my favorite comfort food ever, and if I could handle the carbs, I would eat that all the time. Uh, <laughs> you, if you were at someone's house and they were serving deer, you would make a scene. I would not. I would eat deer at somebody else's house. Oh, I don't like lamb either. I don't like lamb either. You think dog tasted like lamb? I don't like lamb. I have ever tried HelloFresh. Uh, no. Oh, hell no. Nah. You set a plate of ostrich or alligator down in front of me? That's an ass whooping. <laughs> <laughs> I would eat, I would try ostrich, and I love alligator, alligator, fried alligator is good. Yeah, I don't like wild game either. So we used to eat a lot, have to eat a lot of rabbit when I was a kid too, because my dad and stepmom raised rabbits for food, and I do not like rabbit. I was forced to eat it as a child, and I, it's not good. It's not good, okay? It's gamey, it's tough, it's just gross. It's just gross, I don't like it. You tried dog in Korea? Oof. I don't think I could bring myself to try dog. Uh, I can't handle carbs, carbs because I have insulin-resistant PCOS, Rusty. But, I mean, I can, I can handle, like, I could eat it. It's not going to kill me or anything. But I avoid carbs to keep my insulin levels low, and keep, which keeps my androgens low. So, I could probably, like, do it you know, once and it would be fine. But that if I eat carbs and it sends me down a whole spiral of carb addiction and I just don't want to go down that road. Wild turkey tasted decent to you? I don't know if I've ever had wild turkey. Goddamn hillbillies and their rabbits. We prefer to be called Mountain Williams. <laughs> I remember that from my sim stream. I spiral on carbs, too. Uh, you have a friend who won't eat deer because she used to feed them, feed them where she lived in Cali. I've drank wild turkey. Yeah, me too. <laughs> me too, Mary. <clears throat> um, I mean, I'll eat deer, 
but it's I'm not going out of my way for it. Oh, you got a pet bunny. <laughs> well, this has been a long conversation about various foods and meats. So thank you. Thank you for this uh, stimulating conversation about food. I swear to God, our streams always go to food. It, whether it's my sim stream or this stream, it doesn't matter. It's always food. I'm always talking about food. Um, and now I want to go make my burgers. I got to finish editing first. One time someone tricked her and fed her deer and she went off on them. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of mean to do to somebody if they have like a problem with the food. You know? We're a weird bunch, I know. Deer jerk. Oh, I have had deer jerky that was very good. That is true. I've had deer jerky. That's very true. Yes, meat talk with Cindy. I gotta make that the name of the stream when I make it public. People gotta eat, man. You keep trying to catch my Twitch streams. Yeah, I stream on Saturdays and Sundays on Twitch, but um, last weekend I was not feeling well, so I didn't do my Sunday stream. And I didn't even finish my Saturday stream because it just felt like such trash. You've had kangaroo? Kangaroo jerky? What was that like? I forget people eat kangaroos. I feel like it'd be so tough because they're so muscly. <laughs> you asked for a hamburger, she gave you a deer burger? <laughs> it wasn't good. <coughs> Sorry, y'all. I'm going to cough. Hold on. Hold on. I'm gonna All right, sorry. And I can feel like the my sinus is like drain. I know this is so gross, but I can feel like my sinus is draining and it makes me cough. So yeah, I gotta go get like some antihistamine or something because this is getting it's getting out of hand. Yeah, I've never tried. I've never heard of kangaroo jerky. You had boar jerky before. I bet that would be really good. I I would like to try like a wild boar. I bet it would be good. Hot shower, the steam. Well, I already took a hot shower this morning. Allergy meds help with your coughing. Yeah, I'm going to have to go to the store and get something because it's just getting. <clears throat> and it's so weird because I never had, I never had allergies before. And I guess because I lived in Colorado for 10 years, like I did, I got desensitized to the pollen around here. And now back in the spring, I'm just, oh. They had it at a jerky outlet in the mall at Little Rock? Wow. Alligator jerky? Oh, hell no. That sounds bad. Would I rather deal with crazy coworkers or haters on YouTube? Definitely haters on YouTube. Because, to me, they're not really real. You know what I mean? It's not the same as having to deal with real people. But at the same time, like, it, both have their ups and downs. But the reason why I'd rather deal with YouTube is just because I love doing YouTube. You never had allergies, but you're getting them as you get older. Uh, bye, Kirsten. Thanks so much for stopping by and joining us. <laughs> yeah, haters are not real. I perceive them as not being real. You moved to Germany, and when you came back, you were allergic to Ohio. Yep. And that sucks. I don't want to be allergic to my homeland. You should go on location to your haters' homes. <laughs> I think I'll pass on that. I'm pretty sure a lot of them, it, it's, it would be pretty sad. Wild boar is still pork. That's true. But it's wild pork, Patricia. It's wild. <laughs> Find some homeless guy living in a tent in the woods. <laughs> that does happen here sometimes in the summer. You go down to the creek, you never know what you're going to find down there. <laughs> well, y'all, it's 3.30, so I guess I'm going to go ahead and wrap up today's stream. Thanks so much for coming to have a chat with me. I really love talking to you guys. You are all awesome. And thank you so much for your support. And thank you so much to all my new members as well. Um, some of you guys, I think this was your first stream, so thanks for joining. And um, I'm going to have another members only vlog coming out for you probably Sunday or Monday, which I'm currently in the process of recording for. And I will see you guys um, next Wednesday for our next members only stream as well. <laughs> we'll find all the Cindy haters down at the creek. <laughs> 
All right, y'all. I hope you have a great rest of your week and great weekend. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys very soon. Also, there's a, there's a public vlog going out today, later this afternoon. I gotta finish editing it after today, so keep your eye out for that. <laughs> Post in the comments about how Cindy fixed our lives. And if you're watching this back on YouTube and you want to join us for our little coffee chats every week, um, click the button down below to become a member. We would love to have you. Alright, bye everybody. Have a great night.